Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Some time ago we did a video series on the camera tools in Maya and since I've now upgraded to the educational version of Maya 2016 I noticed that they have some new camera tools and you can see uh, the camera tools playlist by uh, clicking this li link here and this will take you to a list of all the current camera tool tutorials that I have but for now I want to look at the, uh, one of the new ones, there's two new ones actually, if you go to view camera tools and I'll just break off this list we've gone over all these other ones except for we there's two new ones that have been added to the list there's grease pencil tool and then the walk tool all the others we have videos going over and you can see the others in the camera tools playlist so today I thought I'd look at the walk tool if I click the walk tool my cursor becomes this four directional arrow and it lets me use game like video game controls to walk through my scene if I left click and drag I rotate my view so with my mouse click held if W walks forward S walks backwards A walks to the left and D walks to the right so I can use these controls just like you would in like a first person shooter video game or something like that where you're moving around your scene like you would in a video game you can also hold Q to move up and E to move down vertically. And just like in a video game, you can hold down two combinations of directions to go diagonally, such as W and A to move diagonally to the top left, S and D to move diagonally this way, and so on. So it's pretty much just like a first-person shooter video game where you're running around side strafing and stuff like that. Um, so Q moves up, E moves down, W, A, S, D and you're holding your mouse button while you move. If I don't hold down the mouse button and try to hit a WASD, nothing happens. No movement takes place. So you have to hold down a mouse button for the movement to take place. Now which mouse button you hold controls how fast you move. Holding down the left mouse button is what I've been doing. This is the normal speed. Holding down the middle mouse button gives you a slower speed and holding down the right mouse button gives you a really fast speed so norm, normal speed is left mouse button slow speed is middle mouse button fast speed is right mouse button so let's look at our walk tool options here close the uh, camera tools menu so we just have our, our walk tool settings I click reset so these are default values so you'll notice my walk speed multiplier has decreased. I did. I was playing with this tool before recording just to kind of test it out because it is new to me. And so I had increased the walk speed multiplier. So you might notice if whenever you try this, you're walking slower. Because right now with the default value of 1, if I hold down the left mouse button and move, this is how slow you'd go by default. And this is with normal speed. Middle mouse click is even slower. And right mouse button is a little bit faster than normal. So if you want to increase that speed, you need to increase your walk speed multiplier. So if I increase this up, now I'll move faster. Like so. Oh yeah, another control that I forgot. Just like in a first person shooter, with my left mouse button held, or any mouse button held actually, if you click control, you'll actually do a crouch. And it might be hard to see since there's nothing in my scene to really uh, crouch next to, to uh, show you the relation between crouched and uncrouched but just watch the grid I suppose if, you, if I hold down the left mouse button hit control I stand up and I crouch stand up and crouch and actually if you look down at the bottom of the screen there is a little bit of a HUD and you see it says right now walk mode crouched press control again to uncrouch and now it says walk mode press W A S D or D plus drag to move so it's giving you the uh, controls and how walk mode works down there at the bottom of the screen. When I have the grid over it, it's kind of hard to read. That's why I move up like this. So you can read it right there. It also says press escape to exit. So if you want to turn off walk mode, hit escape. And now walk mode has been disabled. Let me go back to view camera tools, walk tool options. So this checkbox here says show walk tool HUD. You can actually turn this little message off at the bottom of my camera 
I click this box to uncheck it, and now that message is gone down here, and it no longer shows you how the walk tool works. So you click it back on, and now that message is back, showing you how to use the walk tool. The next option here is height, and default value is 3, and this specifies the distance between the ground plane and the camera. So if I, had increased, if I were to increase this height, let's say up to 9, you notice the grid kind of lowered because my camera is actually being shifted up in the vertical axis. 14, go down to say 1, I'm way down here next to the grid. I'll reset it back to 3. Similar to how the walk speed multiplier increased the speed whenever I held W, A, S, or D, the sensitivity multiplier increases the speed of my camera look around speed. So right now with a value of 1, I can move my camera like so. If I increase this up to 2, my camera look sensitivity is much higher. If I decrease this, say down to 0, I can't move, hardly move my camera at all. Let's say you go with 0.6, you know, it's a little bit slower. And default value again is 1. So this changes how fast your mouse can look around with walk tool active. And so crouch count, again when you hold, press control, you're crouched down. Press it again to uncrouch. You can also hold it down. So if I hold down the control button and then let go, it, it kind of toggles it on and off. So you can either press it once and then press it again or hold it down and then let go and it gives you the same effect. So the crouch count multiplier tells you how far down the camera will move or shift when it is crouched. You notice my height here is 3 and then my crouch count is 3. So the distance between the ground plane and the camera's position is 3 and then my crouch count is also 3 which means my camera will lower down to the ground plane in this case. If I were to increase this crouch count to say something like 5 and press control Again, you have to make sure your left mouse button or any mouse button is held while you hit control. You see I go below the grid, so I'm actually crouching lower than my camera is high to the ground plane. So that's how you can adjust that value here with the crouch count value. I'll just reset it. And those are the settings for the walk tool. So if you have a scene that you're making like for a video game and you kind of want to test it out without having to export it to a game engine and putting in all the assets into the game editor and assigning all the game materials and so on you can just do it here within Maya using your game video game controls to move around so that's the walk tool uh, it's a pretty handy tool I like it I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you later